everybody, it's me, K-Maker Tutorialist, and I'm here today to show you the tutorial how to make a basic top-down game and how to make object the flow you. So this is two tutorials in one. This is so awesome. You don't know think? So let's start opening open a K-Maker. Uh, pick a new project and here click the oh my god oh my gosh I'm so sorry uh, click on that new and um, project name select game or whatever you want so I have it here okay so I'm so I'm sorry I will delete this 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 so let's start um we need um, two sprites. Cre sprites are is a thing that will do a set how how the how the object will look like. So create a sprite by clicking on this nice green Pac-Man up here, here, here. Um, name it Sprite Player, SPR underline player. Then click Edit Sprite. It, you will see a sprite editor. Let's click on this a uh, blank, blank paper. It's called create a new sprite. Width and height must be 32. Click OK. Double click on image zero and create a nice screen player. Or it can be blue. Draw whatever you want. It must look. It must look like player. So this will be green in. And I will make some some darker borders. It will be so awesome. Yeah, it will be nice because I say it will be nice. So if you have it, click on this green tick again, green tick, and okay. So click again on the Pac-Man to create a new another sprite. It will be called. Sprite wall, not wall, I'm so sorry, not wall, it will be sprite follower. <laughs> and this sprite will be how the object that will follow your player look like. So, SPR on the light blower, again edit sprite, again this blank paper, again 32, 32, double click and draw. Mm, uh, um, Red rectangle, green tick, green tick, okay. And now we will create an object. Click on this nice green ball on the top, next to the create a room, and next to the target. Click on it, and now name it. It will be J underline player. Now we will select the sprite. It will be how would our player look like. So select sprite player. Click OK. Yeah. Create again another object. Create another object. It will be OBJ online. Fol oh. Flower. And sprite uh, sprite flower. Okay. Now double click on sprite player and add element. This will be um, controls of, of our player. So click on keyboard and select left. Add event keyboard right. Add event, keyboard, up, add event, keyboard, down, add event, beware, keyboard, no key. I will tell you later what in what the, what this means. So select left and here in move tab, ta uh, drag and move fixed into the actions. And there click on the left arrow. It will choose that if um, uh, I will tell it, tell you later what it means. And speed five. So this means if we uh, press left key, our sprite play, our uh, player uh, will start moving in direction left with speed five pixels per second. And the same make in other controls. There is an up so select so up key speed five again. Don't take the relative. Don't. Don't take the relative. If you take a uh, relative, uh, relative means that. Um, if 
you think really deep, our player will move faster and faster. It will, he will move uh, first click, uh, his speed will be 5. Next click will be 10, next click 50, and maybe C. So down, move fixed, down, speed 5. Okay, so that's it. Um, if we press right key, we will start moving in the right direction with speed 5 pixels per second. And there, here in Noki, drag again, move fix, and uh, select the small rectangle in middle of directions and speed 0. This means if we uh, hold a uh, key, we will move in this direction with speed 5. But and really, while we really, if we release key, we'll stop moving. Yeah. So okay, okay. And now double click on object for long. And now we'll be, we will create some codes. So add event create, and in control tab, drag into actions execute code. We will uh, there create a variable. So right here, follow object player equals zero, and this, this, yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm from Czech Republic, so I. I'm not from England, so yes, yeah. And this means we are oh, one, two else. Um, we created a variable which equals zero. Yeah. Now add event step step, and again execute code. Now we will write here if place meeting open back uh, open bracket x y uh, y and o d g player close bracket close bracket there we will write um, follow object player equals one so this means if if object follower will be in contact with object player a variable get value when one okay another l no 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 not this if open bracket no open bracket uh, follow object again a variable object player equals one okay close back uh, move underline tower and uh, no again move towards point here right and um, if this means um, if our variable have value, value 1, it will do this action. And this will be object, there will be object player dot x, object player dot y, and 3. Close bracket. So this means if our variable is set to one. It will the follower will do this action it, and it will follow move towards point. It will follow the object player's x position and object player's y position with speed three pixels per second. So I will show you how it works. Run this. Run the game. Uh, 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 no, no, I, I'm so sorry, I forgot to create a room. So here, click, create a room. I have created here one. Uh, set in settings, set the width to 50 and height to 40. And uh, then, not, oh my god, 
weight to 500 and height to 400 click again object here object to add with what mouse yes select object player and click wherever you want then select object follower and click wherever you want and click the green tick okay now run the game so you can see that when we press a key it will move in its direction so and now we will come uh, we will move to contact with the follower it will follow us you can see it here it's it's pretty cool not okay so thanks for watching and here we are here we go see you later